Hey everybody, it's Amy Gretchen. I hope all of you guys are well, considering the situation that we are now in where the vast majority of us around the world are sheltered in place or stuck at home or however you want to look at it. For the first few couple of weeks, I really had to process what was going on mentally. I had to go through that. I did a lot of journaling and now I feel really ready to jump in and be more creative. But while I was journaling and trying to get all my feelings out, I realized that one of the things that I would love to have is some more stickers to play with. I actually am a really big fan of planners and um, stickers that you might not know. And so I wanted to create my own. And so I thought, you know, why not show you guys how to do it also in case that is something that you are interested in. So let's jump to the computer and I'll show you how to do it. I am actually in the Silhouette Studio Designer edition of the software, but you could be on the free software as well. I know you can do this in Illustrator. The steps are just a little bit differently. So just keep that in mind. I have got an eight and a half by 11 um, document open because that is the size of the sticker paper that I have. So you can use whatever size that you need. You can just come over here to this very top icon that looks like a paper and you can set uh, the sizing here under media size. The next thing that I want to do is I want to set up the, re the registration um, on this file because I am going to print it and cut. So in order to do that, we need uh, silhouette to read where it's going to print and cut. Now you could actually just create these stickers and cut them out by hand if you want, but I'm going to save myself a lot of time by letting my silhouette do that. So if you have a Cricut or if you have a brother cutter, whatever you have, you can go ahead and set it up the way you would with your machine. But I've got a silhouette, so that is what I'm going to be using. Again, if you don't have one of these machines, you can still just go ahead and do this. You wouldn't need to do this registration. You would just cut it out by hand after you print it all out. All right, so I went over to this icon onto the right that was black and I turned the registration marks on. You can see they're here. You need to make sure that you don't put any of the stickers on the outside of this red line or they will not cut and you don't want anything in this like hash um, area, gray area here hash marks. I don't even know what you would call it. So I am going to change the length. Oh, actually, I think I have changed the length. Normally it's a little bit longer. So I have the length set at 0.375. So it's just a little bit smaller so that I can get more stickers in if I want to do a full sheet. And that is it for the registration. So I'm just going to click out of there. And now the next thing I want to do is pull in my digital files. So I'm actually going to be working with some of Ali Edwards week in the life digital kits, and I'm going to make some um, stickers from these. These are a really great option when it comes to my planner because so many of the quotes and things work so well with everyday life. So this is a great set to use. This is the chipboard set that came in her recent 2020 kit. And one thing that I love that she is doing lately is in the files that come, they have all the individual files that you want, but then it also has a file with all of them neatly packed in together. And I love that. That's the one that I want to use because oftentimes when you bring in one of these files, it is a lot larger than actually what I want to print it at. So I love the idea of just bringing in one file and having them all together and they print out really, really nice. So I'm just going to click on it and drag it in and then I'm going to move this off to my other screen. So you can see all of the files come in together and I'm going to hit control plus just to be able to see it a little bit better. So our next step is going to be creating a cut line. So we need to trace all of these image images in order to do that. So I'm going to come over here to the little icon that looks like a butterfly and I'm going to click on it and I can just move it over if I want it a little bit closer. Select or click on select trace area and then I'm just going to click and drag over all of these images and you can see that now it's sort it's trying to fill in the areas 
The pieces that are a little bit lighter and don't have as much contrast, it's gonna be a little bit harder to get, but we can definitely get it. We just need to play it with our threshold. So we need to move up our threshold. And one thing that I wanna do here is I wanna, come, instead of doing a solid fill, I wanna come over to an outline because we really just wanna get the outline of these images. And you can see these ones here are really just doing the outline of the words because that's where the biggest contrast is. But we are gonna up our threshold so that we are seeing where we are getting um, an outline on the rest of these images. I'm gonna bring it just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna come down here to trace outer edge. So I don't want it to trace any of the stuff on the inside. I'm just gonna hit trace outer edge. And now when we pull this file away, you can see that we've got this re these really great um, trace lines here. I'm gonna hit Control or Command Z just to bring it back into place. Now I can exit out of this. Now what I want to do, if I cut, um, if I, I could actually just go ahead and cut it here, but if my silhouette is at all off, then I might end up getting some weird lines. So there's a couple things you could do. You could create the stickers where you've got an outline here and so you'll end up with like a white border. If you've got, you're using a white sticker paper or if it's clear, you're just gonna end up with a clear border. But I actually want the lines to be on the inside because I don't want there to be any um, white or clear edge. I just want it to be on the inside. So I'm gonna do an offset path on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click, just make sure you're clicking right on that red line. If you click off, like in the middle, you can see that this box is a little bit bigger. When I click right on the red line, it gets a little bit smaller and then I know that I've selected the cut lines. I'm gonna come over here to the star that looks like it has a border. Click on that and that's this is my offset panel. And then I'm gonna, instead of offset path, because offset is going to create a line on the outside. So if you want it to be on the outside, you could do that. I'm gonna do internal offset because it's gonna go on the inside. So you can see that it's created another cut line and this cut line is, it's definitely too thick. So I'm gonna just take these arrow keys and I'm just going to bring them and just keep clicking until it looks um, how you think that you would like it. And that actually looks about right there. So I'm gonna click apply. And now the next thing I wanna do is click on the outer line again. We wanna click on that original line and I'm just gonna pull it off to the side. You can go ahead and keep these in the file or you could also just go ahead and uh, delete them if you want. I'm gonna just keep them just in case so I don't have to go and trace everything all over again. And then I want to highlight both of the file and then the cut lines, and I wanna group them all together. So I'm gonna do Control or Command G, depending on what machine, or you could right click and you could hit Group. But be, I can ungroup it there and then just go ahead and regroup it. So now I have my stickers made and all I have to do is print this out. So I'm gonna control minus so we can see this whole document again. And in order to save space, I'm just gonna hover over this green dot and hold down the shift key and that way when I get halfway, it will, or excuse me, when I get to a 90 degree, it's going to um, stop it at the right spot. It's gonna kind of click in place. And I'm gonna move this up as close to the red line as I can get just to kind of save some space so I'm not wasting so much sticker paper. And actually, I think what one of the things that I will do here is I'm gonna create a line around this whole file so that it will do a kiss cut for the stickers and then it's gonna cut out this whole thing. Now, you definitely don't have to do this. That would be the easiest thing to cut by hand, but it's also another step that I can show you how to do. So I'm actually going to click on this um, rounded rectangle over here on this panel, and I will click and drag around all these files. And that looks really good right there. And I'm actually going to also change the color of that line to and come over here to where you see all these lines and click on it 
and come to the colors and I'm going to change that line to blue just so that I know whoops just so that I know that we are going to um, cut all the way with the blue line and then just do a kiss cut with the red line so I've created another little cut file there I'm going to get rid of it and I'm also going to get rid of my offset panel and then also the line style so I am actually good to go I could go ahead and send this to print all right you guys so here is the sticker sheet trying to get it in the light here's the sticker sheet that I printed out this is on a repositionable white matte sticker paper and I will definitely have this linked in my description box if you're interested so I realized when I pulled this out of the printer I did something wrong so I thought I would just go ahead and use this printer paper that is a partial size obviously you can see that it's not eight and a half by eleven size and because this is what I had left over from another cut that I did, another file that I created, but what I failed to remember was these registration marks need to go all the way to the bottom as well. So you can see that I cut out the same file on a full eight and a half by 11. So in order for my machine to go ahead and get the right registration so that it can cut this file correctly, it needs to have this one over here. So what I'm going to need to do now is, well, the reason why I cut this out other than to show you is I'm gonna stack them on top of each other and then I think it will register this and then it will register all of these. So hopefully that makes sense. Or I could just go ahead and cut it out by hand, but since I went to the work of creating this file, I figured I would, um, go ahead and I think I'm out of tape that I would actually go ahead and do it correctly so I'm just going to go off screen and uh, hold this up into light so I can make sure that I get those squares on exactly all right so I have them on my sticker paper and then I'm just going to add it to my cutting mat and I'm going to make sure that the square I don't know if it matters but I'm going to put this square in the top left corner. And I actually, I'm going to try and get the sticker paper. Even with the top. And then I'm going to send it. Uh, I'm going to go load this up into my machine. All right, so I have my cutting mat loaded into my silhouette and now we are going to send it to the silhouette. So I'm just gonna come over here to the top and click on send. And now I need to, instead of be on this simple tab, I'm gonna to go to the line tab since we have created a line or a cut line that was blue and then one that was red. So we need to set them different. Now I am using a silhouette three. So I do have two cutters, but if you are using a silhouette one or excuse me, you know, any of the earlier ones, whether it's the original or two, all you have to do is do one of the cuts first and when it's finished, start the other cut instead of pulling, never unload it out of your machine. Just do one and then the other. I'm going to set up both at the same time because I can, but if you can't just do one and then start the other one second without unloading it. That's super important. All right, so let's set our blue ink. I'm gonna put the tool to blue because I'm gonna have it be my ratchet tool uh, or the tool that is on the right side. And I'm gonna click down on my material and I have made a setting based on the manufacturer setting for silhouette for this Actually, I don't think I've, I don't think I've made it yet with this. So I'm actually going to look, I think it's right next to my computer. I printed it out so I would have it. So for my removable white mat, their blade is to be, this is a kiss. No, excuse me. This is going to be a full cut, a uh, force cut, not a kiss cut, just a full cut. So I am going to, let's just grab one of these sticker papers just to start with, might as well. And I'm gonna come down here to, oh, first I wanna make sure that it is on cut. And then I'm gonna change these settings. So I want my blade to be a three, whoops, 
went the wrong way. So I want my blade to be a three. It's telling me that I want my force to be a 16. So 17 is just fine. And then I want two passes for that full cut. Now for the kiss cut, um, I'm going to come down here and click on red and I want it to be on this red tool. I'm going to come down all the way to the sticker paper again, just for somewhere to start. And actually, looks like I do have a white mat. It's just this one is removable. So let's see what this one says. So it does say a blade of three and I want a force of four for this removable paper. So it must be a little bit thicker than the standard. And it also says to do a passive two. I think I probably could get away with one because this says full cut passes two. So I think I could get away with one. So we are gonna just try it with a one. And now when I send it, it's going to do probably, I don't know if it, which one it will do first. But I think it does the it will do the red first and then the blue. But I'm just gonna send it and I'll I'll let you know what it does. All right, you guys, so we are done, but I actually wanted to show you how to make one more sticker, one that's showing you how to do the offset path on the outside in case you are looking to do a file that is text and you want the cut line to go right along the edge of the type. So let's go back to my design panel here. And then I'm gonna bring over a file. This also came in Ali Edwards kit. It's just, um, I can't remember what it's called. There, I guess it says four by six memory. So they must be four by six cards, but it's this file that says stuff of life. And this is actually going to uh, trace really, really well. So we're just gonna go through the exact same steps. So I just did command plus just so we can get this a little bit bigger on the screen so you can see it better. I'm gonna come back over here to my butterflies and click on trace, select trace area. And then I'm gonna click and drag over this area and you're gonna see that it's gonna go yellow. And because it's black type, there's a lot of contrast so it's gonna be easier to trace here. I'm gonna click on outline here because I only want it to be on the outer edge. And then I'm also gonna come down here and I could lift up the threshold a little bit if I wanted, but I think it looks really good. Uh, I just wanna trace the outer edge because I don't want it to get any of um, the holes inside any of the type. So I'm just gonna click on trace outer edge. And now you can see that I've got this really great trace line here. I'm gonna control or command Z just to bring that back. All right, the next thing I wanna do is to do the offset panel. And this time I'm gonna go on the outside of the offset panel. And what I actually wanna do is create a cut line that's gonna go all the way around the words. I don't want it to go up in the middle here. So I'm gonna show you how we're going to do that. So I'm gonna come over here to the star again, click on that. And the first thing that I need to do actually is to uh, click on this file. So instead of clicking on the file, you can see this large rectangle. I actually wanna click right along the cut line. If I can get right on the edge there and you can see that that uh, square gets a little bit smaller. So that indicates I'm right on the cut lines. And then I'm gonna do an offset path because I want this line to be on the outside. And you can see I've got this really great line on the outside. And I actually think that looks really good. I could make it a little bit smaller if I wanted it to be a little bit closer. And like I said, you can see that offset path is on the outside. Internal offset path is what we did before. And I think that that actually looks really good. Now, the problem that I'm seeing here, I'm just gonna click apply. The problem that I'm seeing here is like, I see these holes that are gonna cut out and actually I don't want it to do that because I want the sticker to have a really great structure. You could go ahead and cut it out that way if you wanted to, but I have done that before accidentally and I definitely don't like the look of it. So what I want to do is the next step is I need to release the clipping mask so that I can uh, delete these little pieces. So I'm just going to right click and actually I accidentally clicked on this large file here, which is the black and I definitely don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna click right on to this red line and I'm gonna right click, try that one more time because I got the wrong file. I'm gonna right click 
and I'm going to come down here to release compound path. And when I do that, it might be hard to see, but I've got these little rectangles around all these pieces in the middle. And that indicates that now they're their own little files that I can delete. So then I can just go in to each of them and click right on the file. If I can get it. Actually, to make it a little bit easier, I don't know, it's giving me these points. So I've got to come over here to my, I don't know if this is the move tool. I know that it's the move tool in Illustrator. So I'm just going to try that again. Click on this. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move these aside. I'm going to move this aside and I'm going to move this aside. And it's going to make it really easy because what I want to get rid of is this outline. Remember how up here I got rid of the outline cut and you can see it over here. I mean, I want to get rid of the outline and I want to get rid of all these little pieces. So I'm just going to go up. Well, I want to make sure I do not get any of that. I'm going to go up and I'm going to select all these and just delete them. And now I've just got my outer edge and my inside edge. And it just fits in perfectly there. I'm going to play with it for a minute just to make sure that it gets exactly where I want it to go. Normally you would be able to come over here to the align panel and align both of these files. Let me select both of these files centered vertically and horizontally and then it should fit perfectly on the inside if you don't feel like you can eyeball it. And now I've got this really great sticker that um, is going to have more of a sticker feel where it's going to have the white um, on the outside or I guess it could be clear. All right, you guys, so here is the sticker sheet and the finished product. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it away from the mat. I actually like to pull the mat away from the paper and that way the paper won't curl. You can see that it cut out really well. The sticker paper is just stuck because we had to stick it onto that eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, if you remember. And so you can see that the full cut worked really well and also the kiss cut settings worked really well. You can see that it just easily peels away um, from that backing. You guys, it just looks great and I'm super happy with it. So if you guys are having any issues with your file and its registration marks, make sure that you close the hood on your silhouette so that it can register those marks better. That would be my advice there. And you guys, I really hope that this is something that you will give a try. It definitely helps to get more use out of those digital files that you purchased. Anyway, you guys, please let me know if you have any questions and I will answer them in the comment section below. And I would actually like to know if you would like to see more videos like this from me where I'm using some digital products to create stuff that we can use. So also let me know that in the comment section below. Again, thank you guys for being here and we will see you next time. Bye.